Uh, welcome, my geekers and geekettes. What's up, geek gang? What are we gonna <sighs> talk about today? Um, so we have been watching uh, Love. The, the the third ep- the third season, right? Yes, yes, yeah, the third death. season of uh, the Love Death Robots, mm-hmm. and woof. Mm. There's I can wait till so this came out to talk and it about. did not disappoint. Mm-mm-mm. I mean, of course, if you guys don't know, we are reevaluate. We look at TV shows and movies, mm-hmm. you know, back then or present, now. whatever. And we talk about it. We tell you what we like, what we don't like, mm-hmm. you know, stuff, whatever, whatever like that. So to get off the way, we are going to be talking about Love Dead Robot. Volume three. Season three. It just came Volume out last three. Friday, okay. so we yeah. are excited about it. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. All right. I am the only one who can keep this ship on a straight keel. All right, my top three. I basically did it on two things. I did mm. it on enjoyability and the deeper meaning for me, how I can relate to it. Mm. So in no order, because I really couldn't be like, I like this one, I like that one as a second and third. Mm. These are just my top three, but just like in no order, because I think they're all number one. Mm. Bad traveling, that first, no, it was I think the second no, episode, second. Mm-hmm. all right, where you basically had the ship being attacked by that crab monster. Mm. Oh my God, it was so fucking cool. I loved how that sailor was so clever that he was able to outmaneuver everybody, Mm. okay? And the greed and the selfishness, he was like, I got something for all of y'all, okay? Because I'm not gonna lie, when he shot the black sailors, I was like, really? Mm. But then they all else tried to kill him. He was like, oh, I got y'all. I'm waiting for y'all. Let's go. Mm. And he murked every one of them. I loved it. Intact. Bill, my second one was Mini Night of the Living Dead. Mm. Okay, like, um, or Night of the Mini Dead. Mm. Okay, Night of the Mini Dead. I, for a couple reasons. We, if you know, we love video games. I love to play them. So for me, it really felt like a 2D mini, um, like, like, like a, video like game. A small video 3D. Exactly. Mini. Like I can see myself playing this shit, and I was like, oh, this is so cute. And then also, it was like that trope of. If you have sex in a horror film, you're gonna die. Mm. They turn that shit in the head and said, Oh no, you have sex in a horror film, you're gonna bring up the apocalypse. Okay, because it started with people having sex. First of all, I think it was like in, the, in, a, in, a, in a cemetery. cemetery yeah. It's like, how, Why? Why are you getting. Okay, just know mm-hmm. that we never get on a cemetery. Exactly. Um, but like, that was that was cool. I thought that that trope, um, putting it on his head, was cool. And mm. it, it reminded me in some points of um, Dawn of the Dead 2000. For mm. Zack Snyder's Dawn of the Dead, yeah, yeah, yeah. like there were some, there were some spots, especially when they were in like suburbia, that you you can see the influence, and it just, I thought it was just different way of telling the zombie apocalypse was just told a mm. hundred different times. Whew. And my third one, I'm not gonna lie to you, when I first saw it, I I actually would not have put it as my top three, but the more I sat with it, Jabaro, Jabaro was beautiful to watch. It was uncomfortable to watch, and it was also very cathartic to watch, to be completely honest with you. I'm a, I'm a history major, or I major in history, I should say, not a major anymore. So it very much, I saw it instantly that they took thought processes from the Age of Exploration and Conquistadors. And I liked how they had like the woman be like a siren, mm. you know what I mean? And calling them in. Okay, and Merc, no, actually she didn't have to Merc none of them. They got pulled into the river and they died because they drowned. But it was the deaf guy who couldn't hear it. Mm-hmm. And then I thought Post-party it was- smart. I, I, no, I, I, th- I thought like first, like, I didn't know what to think, but I was like, oh, he, he can't hear it. So like you said, it is smart. Mm-hmm. And the way that he interacted with her, I was like, oh, they're gonna fall in. No, they're not gonna fall in love. Mm. He is absolutely ravaging her. Mm. Oh, he is absolutely brutalizing her and killing her. And I was like, all right. So gold, basically. Base again, Most conquistadors. Crazy. It it falls in line with history. Mm. And the fact that like she came up from the dead though and got her revenge. And that was it. And that was it. If she had mm. not brought come back, mm. I'd be like, God damn. Mm. <laughs> but the fact that she did, I ain't gonna lie. This show, when this show very much started in season one, um, I was excited for it. One reason why, because I love 
anything that is CGI, I yeah. love it. Mm. Anything that is CGI, I totally love it. So just to know that these are basically stories from 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 creators, you know, from designers who actually come together and try to build a story from the CGI um, perspective. It, it kind of brings life to in different fashion mm -hmm. and in different um, formality of, of how they want to present it themselves because not every not most of these shows is is it's fitted for a tv show series mm -hmm. you know what i mean so what they do is just say you know what tell you what guys you guys come up with something and you know just make it really look really good make it come up with some form of meaning or let the story have some impact and 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 boom there you go yep my first one is bad traveling bad traveling is by director um, David Finch, I think he, before everything started, he made sure, pointed out that, listen, this is by me and this is what you're going to um, get get involved with. The, the animation was perfect. By the way, the animation is by Blur Studio. Um, the quality of the CGI was superb. Mm. The two storytelling was dark and it felt alive. The, 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 the guts and the, 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 the murder and everything. It was just exciting for me. Overall, the storytelling for how the sailor got out of a situation and how he outmaneuvered everyone on the ship and yeah. literally outmaneuvered the, the crab. It was vaguely great. It was very good. Definitely loved the first scene where the crab was attacking the sailors and they were trying to fight back and he was he was killing them and everything. That scene was off the chain. Mm. The main character, he had a very interesting background and um, how he defeated the crab was pretty much smart. Just tried to befriend it but he used his ego in the end and he, he left, he let out perfect. It was great. Night of the mini dead. Oh my god. That, that, that was awesome. It was directed by Robert B.C. and, and Andy Lyon. Mm -hmm. Of course, the, the animation studio is Buck. Um, it went like from zero to a hundred real quick. Real quick. Yep. Just when you thought it was, it, it was going to die, like the, the, the zombie apocalypse was, was going to die out. Mm. It just get really big and extravagant. This would look, this would be perfect for even a, a, a TV show or something. Not in that sense of seeing them in small, you know, whatever, but just the idea behind the story, it was fantastic. It was great. My next one is In Vaulted Halls and Tuned. Hmm. This was directed by Jerome Chen and animation by Sony Pictures. Oh my God. Oh my God. It took these um these mercenaries, these soldiers that were on a on a on a on a, um, a rescue mission that they thought it was going to be something very quick you know very quick and in and out type of thing and they didn't it, it wasn't it wasn't that type of thing they faced real danger they fought they faced real threat with mm. these other tiny things it started with these tiny things and it was like eating them alive and yo it was it was crazy alien form that was basically the enemy was um was was pretty much um, something that you can see from like alien movie, okay. like the aliens movie or whatever. It felt it it had it, it had that that, that um, essence of alien the alien movies. Mm. The only thing that did that didn't grab me was the last the ending the ending when it, where the the female soldier came on. I was gouged out. You know it, why? I, I guess it did it. I guess it didn't it didn't explain why her eyes were gouged out. She just came out with the eyes gouged out and and that was it. So it left you on a cliffhanger, yes, and and I, yeah, I mean that's cool, it, it, but I, I I think I needed more, or the, the the base of the entire story needed me to want more. That's how interesting it was. You know, you get what I'm saying? I do. So mm. like I actually heard that if you put it on closed caption, mm. it says that she's walking out, and while she's walking out, she's speaking in an alien. An alien tongue. Oh, okay. So it basically possessed her then. But there are people who says she gouged her eyes out so that it couldn't put visions in her. So gotcha. it's still very ambiguous. It, it, yo, it's still very ambiguous. Yo, it, but it's, it's funny you say that because I didn't, I didn't really, I, 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 didn't like I, that I liked it. I liked it. That was I loved that. My it, you know, it made actually want to see a, a part two 
or a continuation of that um, series. It 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 had that, as I say, it had that 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 um, search and rescue thing mm -hmm. where you know a bunch of soldiers go to search and, and rescue this this person or a group of persons, whatever, and it ended up being a part of this alien species or this alien race type thing. Got you. And I like seeing that. And trust me, these stories are <clears throat> something what I always look for with Rob Love That Robot. Mm -hmm. You know, they always come up with something that is just crazy and insane. And one of the one of the stories that I did like, but I was like, man, I can probably I can probably switch it out with um with the last one that I, and it was the one with the rats i yeah. didn't mind that it, it, it was it I was didn't, i didn't mind that one yeah it was it was pretty good it was cute it I was liked pretty it. good um however the only thing that i didn't like with it is that you only see it from the perspective of the farmer you didn't see the perspective from the rats what the rats have to go through to and why they are defending um okay that's a good their point. town that's or good whatever point. so it's like you're seeing it from the perspective of the farmer. That the farmer is like, listen, I'm trying to get rid of these rats. Got it. So and you know what? Whatever the case is, just do, just get away with them. But what is the story side of the rats? What what are they going through? What what is their lifestyle? What is their culture? You know, stuff <laughs> I like can't that. believe that we're talking about rats yeah, like I mean, this. But <laughs> listen, that is how this brings me into this trope of 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 this series or this episode that how the rats bond together to fight it's like they fight with spears and mm -hmm. arrows and stuff like that. and this farmer is coming up with like high-tech gadgets and stuff like well that. i didn't expect so, the way that it ended that it would end that way yeah the, that affected like he the farmer was like fuck i'm really fucking these people up and yeah he, and, and they're fighting together up. yeah and and they don't deserve this mm. so like the fact that he just like ended it i was like yeah definitely, okay i definitely. like the way that you ended that yeah but um i could have done without actually your third favorite mm, what in the vaulted in the vault oh, okay, mm -hmm. okay. i could have done without that and mm. i could have done without the one that was on io and jupiter oh okay in the vaulted the halls and mm -hmm. And the uh -huh. one that was on IO. Oh, okay. With okay. the two astronauts. With the, oh, okay. well, with the one astronaut. Yeah. She was trippy. Yeah, she it was high. It was, was trippy. It was trippy. It was, it was a lot. It was very meta. I mean, yeah. I, it was I mean, very I can meta. respect I really those trippy it. type things, but I, I prefer a stronger story that is more realistic than something that is more um, mind bending. Mm -hmm, mind mm -hmm. trying to figure out what is going on, guys. Like, yeah. You yeah, know what I mean? So, I agree with that. Yeah. But so I mean, those well, three series are what? Episodes are what um, actually enlighten me throughout the whole season. But I feel like the, the season itself was strong, though. Yeah, because like was, I said, for me, mm -hmm. trying to pick my favorite three, I could have easily put the swarm in there and three robots. And in fact, I could think that the swarm and three robots could be a feature length. Yeah, they're probably, probably like yeah. I could see that. Mm. Okay, but especially the swarm. The swarm was it, was what? pretty much yeah. What and especially the the way that they ended. Yeah, man. Like she was like, yeah. So we took over all the gal who thought they were gonna take over us, mm. and you can either come with us or be grounded, and we still mm. fucking y'all anyway. So which mm. one you want? Yeah. Cause this is what we're gonna have to do. Like, I I thought that both of those were definitely great ones it just weren't my favorite mm, but yeah. they were still good yeah, you know what i'm saying good, yeah. and even the one with the fucking bear yeah yeah good. yeah oh my god okay can yep. we talk about that bear yep. but anyway so like how do you what do you give the overall season i give the overall season a, a nine out of ten um basically because it's just nine episodes i wish there was more um yeah that's just that's basically definite. it for me it's that's just, definite they, netflix don't don't don't, don't cancel this shit more, yeah. netflix don't cancel shit nah let okay. it go don't all do, the way don't up do to that season, super shit that you're doing right to now to season 20 that's i'm a good fact. i'll be working don't with do that, that super shit. <laughs> listen comment below do you think netflix is gonna cancel because right now they've been canceling good shows oh, okay so oh, do you think they're gonna cancel which one was your favorite which one was mm -hmm. your least favorite did you even see love death and robots because if you hadn't mm -hmm. and you made it this far thank you and you need to stop and see it yes you heard definitely so i'm jay i'm laney i also give it a nine out of ten as well i'm laney i'm jay Subscribe to us Please. so you can see more videos like this. Check us out All right. on Instagram at Geek by Heart. That's right. And we are going to be coming back with Obi-Wan Kenobi and Stranger Things. 
Hope you guys are good. Thanks for joining us. This is Jay, as usual. And Peace. I mean, peace. peace.